You want to get into him? Okay, yes. Chance the Rapper is getting a divorce from his wife, the same wife that he made a whole album about loving. <laughs> the same wife that apparently, this is news to me, Rhetoric was telling me earlier, that he um, fell out. He fell out with his manager because of this garbage album about loving his wife. So not only did you fall out with your manager, the gar- the album was garbage, and then you lost the, the subject of the album. So what was the point of doing it in the first place? There was absolutely no point. You're like the, <laughs> the level of critical acclaim and everything that you gained from acid rap was up here, and then it was like lowering and lowering and lowering and lowering it, lowering with every project after acid rap. And then this one, what was it called? Coloring book? The last one, it was like Big Day or something like that. Yeah, whichever one was just so bad. So what was going on, just to kind of talk about with the manager, what was going on is the manager sued Chance, the rapper. So like December 2020, he had basically came out, and this is like the Big Day was the the album that everybody hated. Mm -hmm. But he sued uh, Chance because basically he was saying Chance was he supposed to get basically, he basically had Chance in a, in a 360 where he was going to get 15% of net profits. And he also said Chance didn't pay him for unreimbursed uh, expenses, like two hundred, uh, $2.5 million in, in expenses. He went in also to say that basically, uh, this is what it says right here in the lawsuit, Pat, I'm just going to say that because I don't feel like saying his last name, Pat, uh, that was the manager, uh, <laughs> also claimed that Chance fired him to and replaced him with his father and Taylor Bennett, who's his brother, Due to fan disappointment in the most recent album, which was The Big Day, the underwhelming uh, fan support for his associated tour was also another reason. He canceled the tour. And basically they said the relationship began to fissure when Chance in 2019 announced the July release date for the album. And then they go into what happened in regards to the lawsuit. But basically, yeah, he he was probably telling him, hey, I don't want you to release this album. It's not going to be what you think. And... He heard the songs. He was like, this shit is garbage. And he came out anyway, dropped it. And this was a Pitchfork article in 2020. Uh, and then also like, another Pitchfork article, Chance then in 2021. So about two months later, mm-hmm. he sued him, stating a violation of trust in April 2020, which is the termination of their friendship. Among the allegations, he also said that he used his reputation and success to promote his own wine, which is called No Fine Print and Record Company, which was nice work. So... Basically, um, you know, you're doing a double sue thing that you got to do anytime that happens. Sue, yeah. counter sue. I hope Chance starts doing drugs again. Oh, shit. I do. Um, If the family and the wife and all of that, I mean, you stopped doing drugs, but you were with her for a while. But, like, I need, I don't, I don't necessarily need acid rap, too, because I know you probably can't pull from that place that you were pulling from. You're working with different producers for some reason. You not would save money anymore for some reason. You niggas that you was running with. Um, now you're a father. Oh, and then <laughs> that's what you're focused on. Amazing. The 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 daughters, the children probably are being raised beautifully. The music is garbage, and apparently so is the marriage. Right. Well, they didn't announce who divorced who. Uh, who initiated it doesn't it. matter the music was garbage and so was the marriage i will say though sh- you know he let her drop the announcement so that kind of to me it shows that he's probably in the winning seat and so that's why he letting her kind of dictate because she didn't say nothing crazy she didn't violate she acknowledged the separation she's never i don't think she would have from what i've gotten from the nah, little that bit nigga, that, that nigga was out there doing them dirty she no, would have no, kicked no, that no. nigga back in because she said something about the dance remember he got the the dance yeah, but she's just never given me like I'm gonna drag this nigga in public for real. Like she's she seems like she's gonna handle her shit privately. I think when I think if if need be, she would. Cause like I said, when when the dance in him on the beach came, wasn't like she was saying leave my husband alone. She yeah, but that, I think that's because that was a public spectacle that she had to address publicly. Man, this be, is a private thing. Man, this is be this. This was that was the slap in the face of all the other stuff that goes on behind the scenes. You're not going to be with somebody who's touring, who's going out and doing these things, who's an artist, and not expect him to have other lovers. But when you go out there and you get videotaped having some chick dance on you, it's a slap in the face and it's a disrespect. And the chick looked like she not even with it. Like, he, she looked like his hips were not giving. 
I mean, that probably does some disappointment too. But yeah, I think like, it's more I'm so more just more embarrassed the, now. I think the the more embarrassment comes where it's like when when you generally have women in that life, for the most part, I'll probably say sixty percent. They don't care if you're actually cheating. They care that the cheating isn't public and in, in front facing. They I like, would say that's how, that's how I would feel. Like they don't want they just don't want her to feel like she can text you regardless wherever. Like they yeah. just want you to feel like there is a distinction in a way that you conduct yourself around me. Act like a side bitch. That's not. Or I mean, it's just it's not it's not about him. It's about how he's hiding it from you. No. Because she could be violating, but if it's on another phone that he don't bring in the house, who cares? Yeah, but I also no. I feel like for this would be in my case. For me to, if I come into a situation, you're already rich, blah, 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 you have other women, I just need you to, like, make it, like, for my ego, I just need you to behave like I'm the number one also. I mean, you and just I need you to, I And I need you to, I need you to make everyone else fall in line and act like number two, number three, and number four. Like, they need to act like it. So they can't be j- just blowing up your phone when they know you home. They know you home, they know your schedule. Fucking don't call this man. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it, <laughs> but that's the only difference. Their violation doesn't matter if you don't see it. And I think that's where a lot of this time it comes from, where I'm not hiding like, it anymore. Yeah. I'm not I'm not doing the things I'm making it obvious. Hey, I'm leaving right now. I'm not even saying I'm going to the studio or if I am going to the studio, like I'm very clear that it's just, you know, what's happening here. It's mm-hmm. not no kind of hiding. It's not like I'm sitting here giving you a, a courtesy FaceTime in the studio. Oh, we out here and cooking up, babe. Randomly, like. Also, hypothetically, the bitch cannot be in the same state as us. I'm sorry. She got to be in the next state over. You can have a bitch in all of the border states. But I'm 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 the this state bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You definitely would get your heart broken 10 <laughs> times out of 10, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's why. You think, you think a nigga can't not going to have some in-state pussy? Like you sick as fuck. Nigga work too hard not to have some some additional in-state pussy. I'm just I saying. Guess. If you come home so after what? if you if you come back to this state, you need to come to me. You don't need I don't want you to have other options. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that his manager like tried to warn him like, "Hey, like don't put your eggs in this woman's basket when it comes to your art." And now he's almost completely Why destroyed would his career. Why would you do that though? I mean, Why would you do that? According to the album, he was in love. Nobody no rapper has ever benefited from being in love musically. R- not, not even R&B artist. Mary J. Blige, as soon as she was happy, we were like, this is garbage. So what do you do when you get into that <laughs> position where family is actually messing with your passion, art, and career in that way? Like, you make a decision. There's nothing you can do but make a decision. Because obviously, we've had this argument a couple times. Obviously, you do have to make a choice. Uh, of whether who's who is going to thrive, the the part of your life that you're pumping the most energy into is gonna thrive the most. So if you decide that you're gonna put your your focus into your family, your career, especially if it's something like like rapping, is going to suffer. Definitely, you're gonna have less time to to be able to to engage in your passion. And then if you decide to engage in your passion 100%, you're going to have that, that the family that feels like, oh, dad wasn't there, he was never around, he didn't care about us, blah, blah, blah. We have all the things, but, like, I don't know this nigga, you I, know? I think a, por- a portion of it is the fact that he's not, it's not that he's picking one or the other, he's letting them bleed into each other. And I think that's what's negatively affecting it because there's not a lot of people, like, what we do, a lot of people can't do. Where they could feel like they could talk to their significant other and and yell and say crazy shit to each other and talk about the past and things like that on a public way. Like this isn't unique. So when you bring that in there, you you probably can't make the song like my wife's a stupid bitch. She all up on my fucking head. Like some shit that might really slap. Dick was right there. But um you said what Dick was right there? Yeah. What do you it, mean? it rhymed better with oh. bitch. No. Didn't head like I didn't feel like Dick was that that was just warranted. that just didn't satisfy me at all like it was I right mean, I'm there. not I'm not the rapper I'm just saying like <laughs> the the point is that he can't make a song about shitting on his wife even if he's in the great creative space to make that song and then I feel like you can be you can be in a loving amazing relationship for a very long time and have a long successful rap, rap career Snoop Dogg is an example. Um, obviously he was rampantly cheating on that woman. 
But that's not the case. We're going to put that aside. Also, the music wasn't always hitting. It wasn't. No one's but saying, I he don't was, think he no was with her for a long time and had a long standing career. Yeah. And then now it's not hitting anymore. But um, I wanted to just say <coughs> has Snoop Dogg so has. Snoop Dogg has addressed his wife in so many songs. Every time he said, what it do, baby boo, that was like his little shout out to her. But So like, you can, like, you can still, like, do your little shout out to your wife. Way. Yeah, like, y'all know that's y'all thing. But then you can, like, I think Snoop Dogg didn't let the fact that he was in a loving relationship with, like, multiple children with the same woman for a long time bleed into his music. He still let it be known that he loved her with his little shout outs, but he didn't make a whole album. Nigga, you could have made a song or two, a whole album. <laughs> I think, I think even with your example with the Snoop thing, like that's not what that's being inspired, having a, a hint of inspiration. Like when you making the whole album for your wife, she is literally cut her arm open and bled into your art. Like she's a part of it in a real yeah, way. Yeah, she has. He was he was able to really push that away. So it, just just think about it. You put your heart into something, and it's about your wife, and people say it's bad. That's going to fundamentally make you question everything else that you're doing. Like you're going to look at the relationship in a way and you can see what the relationship is going to compromise. If, if if the art that your muse inspires is perceived to the public widely as garbage. You're going to start perceiving the relationship as such. You're going to, as an artist, if you take your artistry seriously, you're going to be like, I need a new muse. It's not even just I need a new muse. I'm going to view the relationship like the art had reflected. Like yeah. this is what you made me create. Yeah. And it was garbage. Ass. So I can't continue to be with that. So hopefully he doesn't like do nothing crazy. I don't mind you getting on some, you know, some, you know, little drugs here and there as long as you, you're you don't being have to do acid. Do some shrooms, shrooms bars. I mean, I hate when niggas get sober, though. That's always <laughs> that's always terrible. that's always been like Gucci man sober. I'm I'm happy for you, sir. You look way. Is healthier. he really sober? Is, I think Apparently he's not he's doing a clone. hard drugs. I think he's not really sober. Well, no, he's he's smoking weed and the drinking most, and the stuff. The most annoying sober nigga is Steve-O. Steve-O I was top tier when I he was I don't think he up. was an... Well, 